パーパーブラシ<笑>ドゥドゥドゥうん。あはははは。あ、はい、バーバーフレンド。I was just brushing Callie. She sheds a lot, so I have to brush her pretty often to make sure I keep her coat really healthy. Lots of animals need to be brushed. And in fact, have you ever thought about what it would take to brush and bathe a horse? <laughs> what about you, Callie? Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> My friend Miss Reagan has a horse ranch. Maybe we could see if she's around today and we could help her take care of the horses. Want to come with? Cool. Well, then let's go to Miss Reagan's Wonder Ranch. Callie, you stay here and rest, and you and I will go to Miss Reagan's Wonder Ranch. Bye, Callie. Whoa! I made it into Miss Reagan's horse arena. This is just one of many parts here at Miss Reagan's Wonder Ranch. <gasps> Listen, I think I hear Miss Reagan coming. Oh, yeah, I see her. Here she comes. Hi, Miss Reagan. Hey, Kyle. Whoa. Oh, Hi. Who is this? This is Chevelle. Hi, Chevelle. Well, I brought my friend here because I thought you might need some help. Cleaning and grooming all the horses. Yeah! Awesome! Let's get going! All right, I'll follow you. Okay. Hi, you can call me Miss Reagan. I take care of all kinds of horses at my ranch. It's so rewarding to care for these intelligent animals. I love horses. Do you? One of my favorite things to do is feed the horses. You saw that delicious apple I just fed Chevelle, plus yummy hay and scrumptious carrots. I'm so happy you're here to help me and Kyle groom Chevelle today. Let's go. Come on, guys. I made it. She runs really, really fast. Well, I might be out of breath, but I'm ready to do whatever we need to do to groom the horses. Well, Kyle, if you want to groom the horses, we got to put you in some gear. Okay, what kind of gear do I need? A cowboy hat and a handkerchief. All right, coming right up. Oh, all right, we look pretty good. We're ready to go. Well, I assume you have to get off the horse if you want to start grooming the horse.、Mm -hmm. Do you need any help? No, I think I'm okay, but Kyle, should I get off the cowgirl way or the silly way? Um, Definitely the silly way. Okay. Hold Chevelle. Okay. Oh, yay. <laughs> We're coming around this way. Good girl. Coming around this way. And we're going to hop down and. Oh, like a little horse slide. <laughs> Good job, Chevelle. The blanket will come off. Good girl. And let's get starting with brushing. Brushing is the first step to grooming the horse. Remember when we brushed the horse at Miss Jan's magnificent animal menagerie? Well, this time we're gonna brush even more. So, when we brush a horse, it's called grooming because grooming is what animals do to say hello to each other and to clean each other. I clean my horse before I ride her because I wanna make sure that there's nothing that's gonna get in the way of the saddle pad or in her feet. Think about whenever you're walking around and you get a rock in your shoe, Kyle. Oh, oh, I don't like that feeling at all.、Mm -mm. We're going to start with brushing Chevelle with a brush that's called the curry comb. The what? The curry comb. The curry comb. That's a new word. Curry comb. Okay. <laughs> What's a curry comb? A curry comb is a circular brush. Can you guess what shape we use this brush in?、Mm, that's right, a circular motion. Try it with your hands. Hold your hand up. Circle motions. So, this circle motion, Kyle, helps to stir up any extra dirt or hair that might be on the horse's body. Cool. Chevelle, are you ready for me to curry you? <laughs> You're like, yes. So, right now, I have the brush in what's called a surprise zone on Chevelle. Because she can't see what's in front of her nose. So, if you see her sniffing all the other brushes we're gonna use, she's trying to figure it out. 
<laughs> so I use the curry comb all over her body. I'm starting on her neck and I'm doing my circle motions all the way to her tail and all the way back. I can see the dust coming off of it when she's doing that. So all of the extra dirt and dust is coming up for us to eventually brush off. Kyle, do you want to try? I want to try. <laughs> Here you go. Curry comb time. All right, just like Miss Reagan said, circular motions. But Miss Reagan, I'm going to go really fast. OK, let's see what Chevelle thinks of it. Oh, I think she likes it. <laughs> do you think she likes the feeling of this? I think that she feels it like we would feel a massage or a scratch or a pat on the back. Ooh, I love massages. Look at all the dirt coming off of Chevelle. Ugh. I'm so glad we're getting her all clean. Thanks, Curry Comb. You did great. <laughs> now that we finished curry combing, we're on to the next brush. It's called the hard brush. The hard brush, new word, new word, hard brush. <laughs> Here you go, Kyle. I get the blue one. The reason why it's called the hard brush is because the bristles feel really hard. And we use this brush second because it's gonna get off all of that hair and extra dirt that we curried up on Chevelle. Now it's important when you brush a horse mm -hmm. that you brush their fur or their hair mm -hmm. in the direction that it grows. So from their head all the way to their tail. Got it, one direction. All right, I'll do Chevelle's left side and you can do the right side. She is. Ugh. How often do you have to do this with Chevelle? I brush Chevelle every day. Every day. You always brush a horse before you ride them because where I put that pink blanket, you don't want any dirt or rocks or hay to be underneath it. It won't feel good to them. Makes sense. It's a lot of work and a lot of responsibility to take care of these really cool animals. Mm -hmm. Kyle, how long does it take you to brush your dog? Oh, Callie? Man, it, <laughs> it could take me a long time to brush Callie because she sheds so much. <laughs> but I only use one brush for her. <laughs> OK. After you use the hard brush, we use the soft brush. Do you want to feel the difference? I can hold your horse for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> This was the hard brush we just used. Yeah, it's really hard. Oh yeah, this one's a lot softer. I bet Chevelle's gonna like this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same thing? Same thing. All right, in the direction of where how the fur grows. Yes. All right. Now, the fun thing about the soft brush is it's so soft that it can go everywhere. It can go on her face, it can go on her legs, it can go underneath her belly, and all of the tickle zones on horses, which are the extra sensitive spots that make them want to wiggle and laugh. <laughs> a tickle zone on a horse? That's so silly. <laughs> so one of the tickle zones is right here. It's where her belly ends and her hip begins. Think of it as like your armpit or your belly button, and it's extra sensitive, so I'm going to brush really slow. So she doesn't get tickled? Mm-hmm. And why is it ticklish? Look, her hair is growing in all different directions here, so her skin is extra sensitive. Wow. I didn't know horses had tickle spots. That is super cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to Chevelle's tickle spot, so I'm going to be very careful not to tickle her. Gentle. Gentle. I don't think she's tickling or being tickled, which is good. <laughs> I don't want to tickle Chevelle, unless she likes being tickled. But I don't like being tickled, so I don't want to tickle Chevelle. <laughs> now that we're done brushing our horse's body, it's time that we clean their feet. Their feet? What do you call horse feet? Hooves. Hooves, OK. And we use a very special tool. All right, well, I'm ready. Where are this? Where is this special tool? Feel in your back pocket. 
Do you feel something? Let's pull it out. One, two, three. This is called a hoof pick, and we use it to pick our horse's hooves just like we use floss to floss our teeth. It might look a little sharp, and that's because it is, oh. but we use it to get any rocks, any wood chips, anything that might get stuck in our horse's hooves. I wouldn't want any wood chips or any rocks stuck in my feet, so let's make sure Chevelle doesn't have any in her hooves. Now, when we pick a horse's hoof, we're asking them to pick up one of their feet. So just like Chevelle used her feet to step forward, I'm gonna ask her to pick up one of her feet like this. Can you try doing this? I'm doing it, I'm doing it. How does it feel? Well, it's kind of difficult, but not too bad. Yeah. So when we ask our horses to pick up one of their legs, we wanna take our time. How you ask them to do this is to stand next to the leg that you want them to use. And I'm gonna take my hand and my body to push Chevelle over and say, this is the leg I want you to pick up, Chevelle. We come down and up comes her hoof. Can you see everything that's stuck in it? So I take my hoof pick and I point the sharp point down to the ground and I make sure that it all gets out of her hoof. Kyle, do you want to try? Sure. Now it's my turn to clean Chevelle's left front hoof. All right, so I'm gonna stand on this side of her. Yep. Take your hand down and press into her shoulder and okay. go all the way down her leg and oh, yeah. catch her foot. Oh, she did it. Oh yeah, it's kind of dirty. Get that out, get all this out. So far, you're doing it right. Now, a fun fact is that V shape that you're cleaning right now, uh -huh. its real name is the frog. The frog? The frog. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Clean our horse's feet, then they get their version of cavities so they can get fungus growing and bacteria, or maybe they get a bruise because a rock got stuck in there. So I clean my horse's feet every time before I ride them mm. and after. Does that look good? That looks perfect. All right, we're cleaning horse feet. Very cool. Good job, Chevelle. All right, we have two more to do. We'll go fast. Now that we're done brushing Chevelle and cleaning her hooves, it's time to put the finishing touches on her. Ooh. What we're gonna do is use a hairbrush, just like the one you use at home to brush your own hair, to brush hers. Now her hair is called a mane. A mane, got it. And a forelock. So this part is called a forelock, and this is called a mane? Yes. I'm learning a lot about horses today. <laughs> so when we use the brush on her forelock, we wanna remember that this is another surprise zone on a horse. She can't see what's happening in between her eyes. Mm. So I'm gonna start with the brush out here so she can see it, and gently bring it in, and she feels safe and knows mm -hmm. that I'm just brushing her forelock. I love that. Do you wanna try, Kyle? Of course I wanna try. So first, because it's a surprise zone, I'm gonna show Chevelle the brush, and then slowly bring it up to her forelock. There. I didn't know you could use a human brush to brush a horse's forelock and mane. Mm -hmm. All right, I think the forelock's done. Can I keep brushing the mane? Yes. Look at how pretty this mane is on Chevelle. Very sweet. We use a human hairbrush because her mane is just like the hair you and I have, Kyle. I think I would look pretty good with Chevelle hair. <laughs> what do you think? Does her mane look all ready? Oh yeah, now there's just one thing left, her tail. This is Chevelle's tail. And just like when you have really long hair, 
we start brushing at the bottom to get all the tangles out before we work our way to the top. Now a fun fact about a horse's tail is this is all just hair right here and then feel right here, Kyle. Oh wow, it's really hard and thick. Mm-hmm, yeah. So horses have bones in their tail and muscle that go all the way down to right here, which helps them lift their tail up and swish their tail from side to side. So the long, thick part ends about right here, mm -hmm. and then all of this is just hair. Yes. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And this is called the dock. What do you think? I think I look pretty good with uh, horse hair. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful, I'm beautiful. So when you're brushing a horse's tail, it's important to remember that you're in another surprise zone. So horses can't see, Kyle, what's directly behind them. Mm -hmm. So when we're behind them, it's important that we use our voice so that they can hear us. And we tap tap her so that she knows that we're here. Good thing we did that. Yes. Well, I think Chevelle's tail looks ready to go. Chevelle got fully groomed. We used a curry comb to get all of the dust off of her. A hard brush, then a soft brush. And a human brush to make sure her hair and mane are looking great. Now that all of that's finished, it's time to have some fun! Some of Chevelle's favorite things to do are to play and walk over different obstacles and to go really, really fast. Let's go check it out! Now it's time to watch Chevelle in action. I taught Chevelle how to walk up onto a platform. Let's see if she can do it. Yay, she did it! Now, if you really want to see Chevelle go fast, then you should see her when Stella rides her. Stella is on Chevelle now, in the teal shirt. Can you see her? Stella and Chevelle are really good friends. They ride over jumps, up mountains, and through forests together. Let's see what they do in the arena. Chevelle and Stella are working together. Will they make it over the jump? Yes, they did it! Here they come. Wow, they're going fast. Did you know some horses can go as fast as 40 miles per hour? Go Chevelle, go Stella! The last jump. Will they make it over? Here they go. Yes, so easy. Great work, ladies. Wow, Chevelle was going so fast out there. Stella, it looked like you and Chevelle were having a lot of fun. And after playtime, you gotta have a snack. And did you know one of Chevelle's favorite snacks is bananas? I'm gonna peel it for her and give her a big bite. Here you go. Oh, she's smelling it. There she goes. Miss Reagan, thank you for inviting us to the Wonder Ranch today. It was so much fun. It was so great to have you, Kyle, and it was so fun meeting you guys. Next time you come back, will you help me give my horse a bath? Give a horse a bath? That is something I would not want to miss. I would <laughs> love to. Thank you for being here, and we'll come back to Miss Reagan's Wonder Ranch next time and give the horses a bath, okay? <laughs> okay, well, we hope you had a ba ba, -ba blast. Bye-bye. Ha, <laughs> ha,